I've just fitted a brand new Propex heater in our van. So let's pack the van up, head out, and hopefully keep warm tonight. So we spent the night last night with our new Propex heater and it is a game changer. Abby didn't complain that her eyeballs were freezing, not even once. Even the dog didn't wake us up because she was cold. That usually happens a lot. So we don't get much sleep in the van without this Propex heater. But now we've got it all cozy all night long. The only trouble we were having, weren't we? We were having a lot of trouble getting LPG. Does anyone else have this trouble? Because there's like one local garage in our area that does it and that was out of service. So we only had half of bottle of gas. But luckily, Propex heater didn't use that much. So we've still got some gas left even after having the heating on all night. So I don't know what's happened with uh, LPG lately, but can't seem to get any. So I'm not sure it was a good idea to have a refillable bottle <laughs> fitted in the van. And now we can't fill it. So if anyone's thinking of putting one of those in their va van, make sure you can get it because it's a bit of a bummer if you go to spend the weekend away and you can't even fill your gas bottle. Although we could just swap it back to a normal one, couldn't we? But then 200 quid for a gas bottle, a refillable one. Not the best idea, is it? If you can't fill it. Anyway, hopefully our lo local garage will either stock up on gas again or fix their machine and then we can fill up again because we're nearly empty now. Propex heater though, excellent. 500 quid though, about five times as much as a cheap Chinese diesel heater, but probably last five times longer. So the van's almost complete now with the heating. Maybe an inverter, that'd be handy, just so we can plug in a coffee machine or recharge your dildo. So <laughs> get a bit posh, we recharge just straight to the mains one. <laughs> one of them black and deck now this is going way 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 off topic now <laughs> rained all night but we were warm and dry no leaks no coldness dog's happy we're happy abby's eyeballs aren't frozen uh, maybe if we've got enough gas we might spend another night tonight but we need to go and get some dinner first because we've been to about six shops and bought no dinner all we've got is chocolate and milk Although it's not the best weather to test the heater out, is it? It's 15 degrees right now, so what was last night? About 10? 10 degrees? Yeah, 10 degrees. It definitely weren't cold. Didn't Still, it? it was 22 degrees inside the van all night long. So if anyone's thinking of getting a similar sort of heater for their van, definitely go for Propex or, or something higher end anyway. Because we've had the Chinese diesel heaters and they're not as good. They're not as good, nowhere near. Yeah, so dinner time. If we are sleeping in the van another night, we're not sleeping in bloody Yarmouth. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, okay, I agree on that one. We're not sleeping in Yarmouth. I should have. I said it wrong anyway. It's great Yarmouth. Great. Yeah, I think we'll keep moving along. Fishermen's. There's a lot of fishers out. There's a lot of fishers out. <laughs> there's a lot of fishers out. I, do you know what I thought you meant? Fishers. <laughs> I thought you meant there's a lot of fish laying on the beach. There's a lot of fishers out. <laughs> fishers. There's a lot of fish fishers. Fishermen. Ah. You know fishermen. There's a lot of people fish. fishing. There's fishers. A lot of people fishing. Not fishing. There's a lot of fishers out. <laughs> Here we are, the Bahamas. As you can see, all the palm trees in the sea there. <laughs> yeah. It does spoil the view, doesn't it? It might be good for. Our environment, they're not good for my eyes. We get some dinner now. Yeah, what do you want? GDK, GDK, GDK. It'll be stinky in that van later then. Yep, because GDK is about the one thing that when Abby eats, she has uncontrollable flatulence. GDK yep. is she probably the one and only thing Yarmouth has got to offer. Really? Yeah. What about accommodation? <laughs> I just got that. 
Oh dear. Right, food times, go. There it is. GDK. Don't judge. German do Donna good. German do Donna good. German do do Donna good. <laughs> We're going to sleep here then? Mm hmm Yeah, I reckon yeah, so. Yeah. You know when you pull up somewhere, we drive around, don't you, and you get in there and there, and then you pull up somewhere and you get like, is it like a good vibe? Yeah. Yeah, this is our view for the evening. Parked right next to the sea, lit up by the moon. Is that Galston over there? Yeah, that's Galston in the distance, way over there. How nice is that though? Parked up right mm. in front of the sea. I don't know how we find these places, <laughs> but we do. <laughs> come up trumps. Yeah, come up trumps. Out trumps as well. <laughs> you trump. <laughs> you trump, we trump, we all trump. <laughs> Let's trump. <laughs> it's eight o'clock in the evening now, so we're going to get in the van, get the bed set up, get the dog settled, and get our new Propex heater on because <laughs> <laughs> Abby's eyeballs will freeze.